Welcome everyone. We're just waiting for a bunch of people to log in. So it'll be two minutes before we start. All right, almost almost there and then we're going to we're going to have a hopefully a short webinar today so you guys can hopefully enjoy your afternoon before a long weekend. All right, are we ready, John? I think so. Let's go for it. All right. Welcome everyone to the May edition of the ISSA show exhibitor webinar series. We do this monthly. So to update everyone on any important information you need to have a successful show, I'm Iris and my co-partner John uh, is here with you today. Elias is, is off, but we're, we three work with you on everything you need to have a successful event. So we have some updates for you for for May. And if you have questions, someone already asked them, ask them through the Q&A. It's a little easier for me to see. So just do that. Um, I already just answered one. Um, we will have, we did get more rooms in our hotel block, but we'll keep you updated on that also. So just yeah. ask them through the Q&A. Yeah. And as a reminder, I always put this slide up. The show dates and hours are on this slide. Education day is November 13th, and the trade show days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the 14th through the 16th. We are filling up on our floor plan, as you can see. A lot of companies are reaching out to us to increase their space because they have heard from customers that they're coming to the show this year, um, and they just need more space to obviously promote new products, showcase any, uh, you know, lines that you're uh, looking to, to sell. And so um, reach out to any one of us if you are looking for additional space along with meeting hubs. All right, I first wanted to start with registration because we really wanna be transparent and you know, share with you who is coming to the show so you can prepare. Um, registration opened in April of this year. So this is the first time in around, around 10 years that we actually open registration early and registration was or is only open to ISSA members. So um, we are coming to an end and we are officially launching the registration site uh, June 8th. So that is gonna go to everyone in the industry that they can, that you, everyone can register June 8th. There'll be information that um, emails and other communication to let everyone know. I do wanna tell you we have a thousand people already registered to attend. Um, as far as the largest group, we're looking at distributors as well as building service contractors. And then uh, the, the third top would be the in-house service provider. So this is very typical of um, registration. You know, our show pretty, you know, brings in 40%, 40 to 45% distributors overall. Um, and so um, we're really uh, starting off really well right now. We have attendees from 14 countries. I actually um, had to update the slide because we have more people coming in inter internationally. And if that is your target audience, we're gonna see a huge increase this year. Um, ISSA show has uh, the big bash event that we've talked about. It is uh, to celebrate ISSA's 100th anniversary. It is on Tuesday night, November 14th at Hakkasan Nightclub. We already have 1,400 tickets sold for this event. 
So ex when exhibitor registration opens, you'll be able to purchase your own tickets uh, and you can also purchase tickets for your customers. Um, Hygia is one of the most popular events in registration right now. That event is to obviously celebrate the women in the industry on Wednesday evening right after the show floor closes. Um, and exhibitors can attend that event. Um, as far as, you know, we do get on average about 46% new attendees do come to the show every year. Right now we're at 27% and we obviously will see an increase. So that is for those that are looking for you know, you know, new distributors, new end users to promote your products to. So um, we'll have more uh, about this um, in coming months. I did put some of the company names that have already registered just to give you an idea of what verticals they might be in. And, you know, we're going to have updates for you uh, at the end of June for the next one. So we're going to see some really good increases as the weeks and months or the months and weeks go on. All right. I wanted to talk about housing and travel in general. We talk about it in every webinar, but I want to make sure that everyone knows that if they haven't booked, if you have not booked your housing, please go into the exhibitor portal and uh, select the um, travel link or the travel tile. There is a password um, and go in and take a look at the rates. We did, like John said, add rooms to Mandalay Bay. So for those that are needing extra or for those that um, have not booked yet. So really excited about that. And we are monitoring the situation in regards of our needs. And as I've said from the beginning, we have plenty of housing for both exhibitors and attendees. The rates here are just a screenshot of um, housing on a specific date. So um, there is a fluctuation in pricing when you go in, depending on the dates that you're planning on attending. Travel, we are excited to tell you that we are getting some travel discounts from uh, airlines. So United Airlines Southwest uh, is what we currently have. So make sure you go in, use those codes, so you can get you know, the percentage off, anything helps. Uh, we're still working on Delta, and I believe um, American Airlines will not offer a discount. But, you know, this is, we also have Hertz for those who are driving in potentially. Um, so please share this with your team members so, you know, it's a little bit more affordable. We are in touch directly with Delta Airlines. We know that certain hubs, Atlanta, Boston, Detroit, are a lot more expensive than they were a year ago. And we are working with them directly to add additional routes. So if you already made your reservation with Delta and you feel like it's, you know, you paid a lot more, I would check back in July because usually they, you know, are adding routes about six months or so prior to the date and see if you can get a credit if it is at a lower rate. But we are, our team is actively working on adding those routes to lower the price um, if you're coming out of those cities from Delta. All right, and then the ISSA show planner. Uh, this should be familiar to everyone or mostly everyone. So um, you guys have, the opportunity to go into the exhibitor portal and add your information, whether you have a level one listing or level two or basic, you'll get images, certain images, video, logos, et cetera. You also should create a ISSA show planner profile login. See my ISSA show login. This way you could actually see your full listing and you can actually attendees and yourself can go in and add other exhibitors to your agenda. It's an agenda planning tool. Um, this is where attendees are gonna be voting on the innovation award program. They must be logged in. And also we are gonna have networking and a chat feature. So we've had this for two years now and it's basically, you'll see every single person that has a profile 
and you'll be able to send them a message through this program. It's not active yet, but in preparation, this is where we need you to create a profile. We are also obviously asking attendees to you know, create their profile once they register for the show. All right, and I believe this is one of my last slides, the big bash. So I've talked to many companies who have an interest in buying a number of tickets in bulk. So I wanted to make sure that everyone knew our sponsorship packages. Um, we have package A, B, and C down below here, where it gives you a certain number of tickets at anywhere between $5,000 and $25,000 sponsorship. We are super excited to welcome Seventh Heaven Band, sponsored by Ascendant, as our featured musical act. Um, they have a variety of music. They've been around for a very long time. Um, they're super fun, and they do do um, some cover music as well. So, um, and and what with what comes with your ticket is a open bar and food. We're going to have a variety of past hors d'oeuvres, stations, et cetera. So, um, you know, if you've been to Vegas recently, you know that on average, one drink is about $30 and food per one person, you know, you're looking at $40 to $50. So this is a good deal for an event that's from 6.30 to 9. And we're also going to be providing busing from Mandalay Bay to the um, MGM Hotel and Casino. So you, we make sure that you get there. So we're super excited about that. this big bash. Uh, the title sponsor is Spartan Chemical. And um, we'd love for you guys to be a sponsor. I'm going to hand it off to John now to go over some key dates and show operations. Sure. Um, so guys, just to follow up on some of your questions that I've got in here first. Um, if you're having stuff with the hotels, like Iris mentioned, um, those rooms got added today, so it might take a day or two. But if you have questions or issues, the helpline within On Peak is super helpful. Uh, somebody used it on Friday. They got right back to them, so they're really good about that if you have issues. Um, the hotel codes, we'll make sure to send this slide deck out to any of you guys who want it, and we'll post it as well. Um, but also, if you go to our website um, and go to the travel part, it is in there as well. So just to cover those two things, because I saw a few questions on that. So key dates, um, we kind of passed them. Uh, your exhibitor listings go live or have gone live, as most of you know. Some of you have already updated your profile, which is great. Um, and the key thing to remember to do is to do your product categories. Um, I had an exhibitor this week ask me uh, how to do it. I am happy to take an email from you guys and show you exactly where you need to go to do that if you need to. So email me or email sales at issashow.com and I'll be happy to help you with that process. But just make sure to do that. Um, important dates for this month, the final exhibitor invoices have been sent. So payment is due for your booth on June 1st. Just remember that. Um, and then innovation participants now have access to the portal so you can update your information. If you are in the innovation program and on this call and have not got an email from Leah Salinas on our team, let me know. Um, we'll make sure she'll get that because she has a success kit for all our participants. In June, as Iris mentioned earlier, June 8th, uh, attendee registration will open. And then our exhibitor service manual will also be available in June in that time frame. In July, we have the innovation voting platform begins. And then this was also a question in the chat. Exhibitor registration for you guys to get your badges will also open at that time, along with our guest program to invite some of your customers. Um, if you bought a print ad from us in August, that is the deadline. Our operations team will make sure they are on top of that with you. But just so you guys know, if you bought a print ad and then October and November, obviously we're going to do our 2024 booth selection and then obviously the show. Uh, we always bring this up because it kind of happens when you get in these time frames closer to the show. Uh, unauthorized vendors, um, make sure that you see that trade show partner. If you do not see that, that means it is probably spam and you need to check with us regardless of anything. If you see something that's not from Iris or Informa, Jordan is on this call with us too, or anybody from our operations team, it is not legit or at least check with us. So make sure to make sure you see that logo. 
this is your guys exhibitor portal. Um, basically the key thing to hear, I did mention updating your product categories. The way you do that is you click that exhibitor checklist tile and you will see a button that will let you update that. Um, along with what Iris mentioned earlier, the book hotel and travel, very important to do. You'll see that password at EXHISSA23 when you log into OnPeak. Make sure you remember that password. Um, I know it's a weird thing, but um, just make sure to remember that it's on there. So those are kind of the two most important things now. And then if you, the last one I want to mention is the submit payment button as well. If you need to pay off your final invoice and doing that by card, you can do that right there. Oh, meaning, meaning space. Yes. We do have meeting space available. Um, ideally, we have hubs as well. Um, but if you're reaching out about meeting space, please email Iris or myself. Um, we'd like to go through and see what everything is. We do have a document in there as well. Um, but we do also have meeting hubs on the floor where you guys can privately meet as well. This is, goes into a little more detail. Like I said, if you see that review and update your company profile, um, that is where you update your product categories. And if you upgraded your profile to a level one or level two, which we'll cover in the next slide, this is where you would do that as well. This is where also the exhibitor service manual, um, booth construction guidelines, and there's a cost estimate sheet in there right now if you're trying to figure out some costs beforehand. But this is where the service will manual will be and all the forms involved with the Mandalay Bay will be. So important to make sure to remember that checklist tile and then you'll go into here and that'll be where you'll find everything. And the exhibitor service manual is slated to go into the exhibitor portal the second week in June. I know many of you have asked that question. So second week in June, we will um, send an uh, email um, just to let everyone know that it's in and ready to, to use. This is our new look planner site. So we updated this a little bit. I think it has a much better look and feel. We got some more kind of live action shots and everything like that. So as you can see, we broke it down really well this year. You got the floor plan, you got the full exhibitor list, the featured, which are the upgraded, um, exhibitor spotlights, a tab for the innovation awards. So really anything you could cover. We got our product categories. Um, anything you can think of, it's a little more visually appealing. We kind of learned last year that some of the slides it all look kind of generic. So now you can kind of tell everything apart a little easier. So it has a little more pop. And the full educational schedule will come out next week. So, um, so keep that in mind. I know many of you want to know some of the education sessions. Maybe you want to upgrade your boost app ba badge to an all access pass. So you can in, engage with those that are attending on Monday. Um, and so we're really excited. We've got almost all brand new speakers this year um, in our lineup. And we have um, some really great spotlight speakers. So we can't wait to share with you. Um, so we're going to talk about this. Um, this is something we always like to bring up. Um, you know, you have your basic listing, which is in there, which is, you know, your dress, your company profile, your categories and your number. Um, we always suggest upgrading to level one or level two. Um, simply put, you get to showcase off your product and you get online leads. This allows you to set meetings before the show. And then basically all the data we've had been in this platform for a long time. The data shows that those who upgrade their profile get twice as many views get twice as many average per leads. So it's just a great way to showcase anything you guys are wanting to do, um, what your companies are doing with your products, and then a way to generate great leads. The lead report is tremendous. It's in an Excel format. You get their information, you get the company, you get the phone number, you get everything you could have possibly ever want. And they're verified attendees. So they're not, everything is great with it. I, I sound passionate about it because I believe everybody should do this. I think it's just, a win-win for everybody. Like we said, exhibitor registration will open in July. Um, typical of the rules, as you guys remember, we like to go over these. Uh, for every 100 square foot, you get a badge. Uh, one of the big member benefits, which most of you know and already take advantage of, you get two additional booth staff badges. So for general example, you get a 100 square foot booth and you remember three badges, so on and so forth per the square footage you get. Um, we do have industry partner memberships that receive five additional boost staff badges. Um, 
and then $75 per person for each additional boost staff badge. And then you can also, like Iris mentioned with the big bash tickets, those can be purchased um, at that time in July, or you can do one of those great sponsorship packages with us that she mentioned. And then the guest program will be available where you can give access to the expo floor to some of your customers as well. And that'll be available in July also. All right, some little more good sponsorship and advertising we just wanna share with you guys. Um, one great thing to, that we know is popular because um, we have sold out of our uh, sessions before the show on Monday, um, but we do have these thought leadership on floor sessions, 30 minute sessions. Um, we still have some available. These are in different theaters throughout our show floor. Um, great traffic is hit on these. We give you, um, you can do a giveaway through it, uh, but a great way if you want to educate the industry on what you're doing, what your company's doing. The only really regulations we have on this is do not make it a product pitch. But other than that, like if the content's good, we're good with it. So it's a really great way to do some sponsorship and showcase off what your company's doing to help the industry right now. Yeah, and new this year is the Sustainability Hub sponsored by Sophie Dell Group. And we do have uh, four uh, educational uh, time slots for sponsors. And so if that is a something that you guys can bring to the table, I definitely would take advantage of it. This is one we showcased last time, but um, just because it's one of the newer things we have come up with the last couple months, there's a video wall um, this is as you're walking up the ramp, you see the hall, the entrance is actually to the left of that video wall right there. So there are 15 second videos, no audio rotating between four companies. Um, so we have four available for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, depending on what day you want to do. Obviously show days are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 12,500 per day. So really amazing exposure point that really is right where the main entrance is. So you want your brand to pop or you got something creative that you want to showcase, this is a great way to do it that really everybody has to see. And the example here is not what we um, are going to be doing. When we say there'll be four available per day, it just means that we're going to be creating a looping video and the entire screen will be that video as it plays and then it'll rotate to the next one. Yes. It's not four separate screens like the picture. It's what well, you would get all four. Um, the vertical columns, this is another one we have. This is like kind of right by the, the entrance where you walk in the ramp to go to the exhibit hall. These are really, really good columns that have to be seen all the time, every single day. Anybody walking to our show floor will see these. So great on-site branding option that really pops. Um, they're gonna know your brand from these. These are ones that also came available recently that we did not know, but we have access to. So just another great way to do this. You can do one side per column or you can do all of them. And of course, message us for pricing. We can always work on stuff. Mirror Clinic sponsorship in the restroom. Um, this is another popular one. Um, that um, has been taken advantage of in years past. It, it has opened up this year. So we want you guys to maybe think about it. It is on the trade show floor. We do have a lobby option, but the trade show floor most likely is where you get access. We would put your cling on those mirrors. Um, just a great way. Um, everybody um, uses the restroom. So it's a great way for your brand to get out there. Um, probably one of the best on-site signage options we have. And then um, on kind of a good value, best value practice one that I always say, this is our monthly innovation newsletter. Um, it goes out um, the third Wednesday of every month. Um, we're gonna start, we kind of, it's filling up quickly. October and November are filling up quickly. We still have standard product listings for October and November, that 1800 price point. Um, we do have some options for upgraded in September, but really the, the thing I wanna stress here, guys, is not only do you get you, a, you get to showcase your product, but B, you get a real tangible lead report than this. This is our true lead generation sponsorship tool. Um, the couple months leading into the show were the most successful. We have the stats up there as well. Um, but this is just something I highly recommend and do not get thrown off by the title. Um, if it's just a product you want to promote, it does not have to be the most innovative thing you're doing right now. Obviously, it's great if it is, but if it's not and you just want to promote something, this is a great way to get in. Um, at such a low entry cost point. So 
can't recommend this enough. And then you get a lead report sent to you. Um, so, and it goes out to our 50,000 database distributors, contractors, facility providers. So it's the best way to hit the audience um, at that low cost point. Yeah, and that report that you're getting is actually weekly. So if you get leads, if you're getting leads weekly, it will be sent to you um, for up to three months. So that's a really, really nice feature. Um, once again, our innovation program, um, one thing we think this show is known for and one thing we do a great job is our innovation program. Um, we already have about over 20 entries right now, but obviously looking for more. And if you have something um, to offer, we want to have it in our showcase. Um, we have honorees, we have our distributor choice, manufacturer rep choice, all those things. And then really here at that $6,000 cost point is the value you get. You get the 10 minute time slot to present. You get the pedestal to showcase your product. You get the floor graphic from your booth. You get the pre-show two to three minute interview that I have seen multiple companies use in their own marketing, which is kind of why we help facilitate that. Um, and then constant promotion and print digital. And then um, if you want to have a representative work by it uh, during the show, that's also great. Um, but really um, just such a great program. And again, if you guys have participated and haven't got, I know that we've been sending out information to our innovation participants. If you maybe missed that email or something, let us know. If you're interested in doing this or have any questions, please email sales at issashow.com and we can help you out. All right. Um, lastly, we have our global portfolio of shows. I just came back from the ISSA Polari Smart Show in Milan. This is our first year in 26 years that the show moved from Verona to Milan. We had 400 exhibitors and um, a <laughs> percent increase in attendance. So we had over 20,000 attendees, which is amazing. And obviously um, it's bringing in more international attendees to this event. So this event happens every other year. So our next event will be in 25. Um, and then I said lastly, but I'm taking that back. I should say on the scene, we will be in June, we'll be in AppLink, the ISSA Show Canada and BOMA this year. So if you guys are gonna be there, please let us know or stop by our booth and say hello. Now we're down to questions. Answered most of them. Again, guys, if anything pops up, um, we will send this slide deck out um, and then you can rewatch this. It is being recorded. Um, but if you have any questions, sales at ISSAShow.com or email myself or Iris, we're here to help you. That's what our job is. Um, so anything pops up after this, um, of course, this is all of us on a slide, our significant people that we are animals and then my little nephew. So um, thank you guys so much for joining us. I'll let Irish finish, but I hope everybody has a great holiday weekend. Yeah, absolutely. No, thank you guys. We really appreciate your investment with us and we're excited to get to Vegas in November. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Bye guys.